Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to transfer files from your Mac to your iPad over a cable. First, connect the iPad to the Mac using a USB cable. Then open Finder and select your iPad in the locations on the left menu. From here, you have a couple of options, such as making backups or changing a few basic options related to syncing to your Mac. Here, you can also transfer files such as music, movies, TV shows, photos, and a few other types of files. However, for most of these, you need to disable syncing on iCloud, which is a huge pain. But let's go ahead and show you what we can do here. I'm going to transfer a file for pages, such as a Word document, as well as a picture into Procreate. And now you'll be able to see these files in my iPad. So let's take a quick look. Here I open pages and as you can see the file I transferred is able to be used as well as the picture on Procreate but I have to open it from my downloads. You'll notice that not all files such as FLAC or MKV are transferable via cable. Apple has a few other methods of transferring such as AirDrop or iCloud though they won't make these files playable. If you need to transfer any file such as FLAC MKV, a ringtone, or anything else, you'll need to check out Walter Pro. Walter Pro can transfer any file and convert the file to ones that will play natively. It works on iPhone, iPad, or iPod, and you can use it from your Mac or a Windows PC wirelessly. Here you can see me send a Word document to my Pages app. I can also do things such as transfer files that are not natively playable, such as this black file. Here you can see it wants to open in a third-party app and using Walter Pro, I can send it directly to Apple Music or I can send it to my iPad and it will be in my music files. So let's take a quick look. Here you can see the sample file I sent along will appear just as I sent it, though I have the option to change the metadata. I can also send over video files that are not natively playable. This is awesome and will show up in the TV app. So as you can see, the new file I sent over is now playable on my iPad. Just as expected. To show you what this app is really doing, let's look at the fact that this will not play. However, sending it through Walter Pro transforms it into a MP4, which is natively playable on your iPad. Now, any file will play using what's built into my Mac. To get Walter Pro, you'll want to head over to softarino.com. This is the website where you'll find Walter Pro and many other apps. Walter Pro has a free download. It's that big blue button and you'll be able to convert anything you want. So go ahead and download it. And if you really, really like the product, which I know you will, you'll want to check out the awesome price. Plus, you get all of these other apps with your purchase. So you get Walter Pro, SYC Pro, iRing, Folder Colorizer for Mac, and so many more, even for Windows and more coming later this year. So head over to softarino.com, check out Walter Pro, and check out the Universal License by Softarino. If you like this video and found it useful, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.